water. It's our most precious resource, and one that we largely take for granted. If you're fortunate enough to live in a developed nation, water is cheap, plentiful, and something that a lot of people may not even think twice about. Of course, if you're watching this video, you may be wondering about the pros and cons of tap water versus bottled water. Let's start by taking a quick look at the pros and cons of tap water. It's cheap. A quick Google search for the price of tap water brings up this snippet of information from the Natural Resources Defense Council stating that in California, average tap water costs about $1.60 per thousand gallons, which comes out to about one-tenth of a cent per gallon. It's also readily available. You can just go into the kitchen and turn on the faucet whenever you like. If you're out in a public place, you're never too far from a bathroom or a drinking fountain. Now let's take a look at some of the cons of tap water. A lot of experts and authority figures will tell you that tap water is perfectly safe to drink. An article on WebMD.com says that tap water is considered generally safe if it comes from a public water system in the United States, such as one run and maintained by a municipality. Of course, there are experts on the other side of the argument warning of all sorts of things in our tap water that should be avoided. I'll try to go over these things as quickly as I can. Let's start with chlorine. Chlorine is added to our water as a disinfectant. It kills bacteria and microbial pathogens that can make us sick. But should we really be ingesting chlorine? According to the US Council of Environmental Quality, cancer risk among people drinking chlorinated water is as much as 93% higher than among those whose water does not contain chlorine. There's also evidence to suggest that chlorinated water may contribute to an increased risk of heart disease. If you're not worried about chlorine, let's take a look at fluoride. Fluoride is added to our water to help prevent tooth decay. A lot of experts and organizations say that it is perfectly safe and effective. However, countries that fluoridate their water do not have a lower rate of tooth decay than countries that do not fluoridate their water. Fluoride is also linked to a number of health problems like nutrient deficiencies, kidney disease, and diabetes. Depending on which experts or government agencies you listen to, chlorine and fluoride may be not only safe, but also beneficial. Or, they may be poisons that we ingest on a daily basis. Even if chlorine and fluoride are toxic, they're probably not the worst things that can be found in tap water. Municipal tap water may also contain heavy metals such as arsenic, cadmium, chromium, lead, and selenium, which are known toxins. Even pharmaceuticals can be found in tap water. That's right, there are trace amounts of prescription drugs found in municipal tap water. With all of these nasty things that could potentially be in our tap water, choosing bottled water would seem like the obvious choice, but not so fast. Bottled water is marketed to us to make us feel like it's as pure as can be, with pretty mountain streams in their advertisements and on their labels. Some brands may get their water from sparkling mountain streams, but a good percentage of bottled water comes straight from a municipal water supply, which is where your tap water comes from. If you're lucky, the bottled water company will purify the water through a filtration process, but even if the water is purified, there's very little oversight of the bottling process. In an article published on the National Resources Defense Council website, they state that 60 to 70% of the bottled water sold in the United States is exempt from the FDA's bottled water standards. It's also important to point out that municipal water must meet EPA standards, which are far more strict than the FDA standards that bottled water companies must meet. That is, if they're not exempted from meeting these standards in the first place. So although bottled water is marketed to us as the purest, healthiest water you can drink, it's really difficult to know if it's any better than tap water, and in some cases, it may even be worse. Even if we assume that bottled water is as pure as the corporations that bottle it would have us believe, there are a number of other problems with bottled water. A lot of bottled water comes from places that can't really afford to be pumping millions of gallons of water out of the ground every year. One example is Nestle pumping water out of a national forest in California, 
a state which happens to be in its fourth consecutive year of severe drought conditions. Here's a map posted on the Mother Jones website showing a number of locations where water is being bottled in drought zones. Another problem is the tremendous amount of waste and pollution associated with bottled water. In the United States alone, we consume about 30 billion bottles of water every year. Most of those bottles don't find their way into a recycling plant, but rather into landfills or even into the ocean. Of course, it also requires resources to produce and transport all of those bottles. It's estimated that we use 17 million barrels of oil each year to produce those 30 billion bottles of water. If I had to choose between drinking bottled water or tap water, I would just go with tap water. It costs a tiny fraction of the price, and although there may be certain contaminants in my local tap water, the water I buy at the grocery store at 1,000 times the cost may be just as bad, if not worse. However, there is another option. You can choose to filter your own water at home. This will allow you to drink water that you know is pure without contributing to all of the pollution and wasted resources associated with buying bottled water. Of course, buying water filters for your home is going to be more expensive than just running the tap, but the price of filtering your own water at home will be far less than what you're paying if you're currently buying bottled water. Even a cheap gallon of water at the grocery store will cost 88 cents. The water filter that I use is the clearly filtered pitcher. The pitcher itself is currently being sold on Amazon.com for $74.95, but the manufacturer is currently offering an incredible deal where you can get the pitcher for free if you pay a $9.95 shipping and handling charge. Of course, the filters in this pitcher will need to be replaced from time to time, and the replacement filters cost $44.95. That may sound like a lot, but each filter lasts for up to 200 gallons. That brings the cost per gallon to just $0.22 cents versus the $0.88 cents or more you would pay for bottled water. So filtering your own water at home can be done for a fourth of the price of bottled water, and you'll know that you're getting the purest water you can drink that is free from any microbial contaminants, heavy metals, pharmaceuticals, chlorine, and fluoride. And you won't be contributing to the billions of bottles that end up in landfills every year. I would urge anyone to stop drinking bottled water because it is a tremendous waste of money and resources, and it's terrible for the environment. If you want clean, safe, inexpensive drinking water, click the link below to get more information about the clearly filtered pitcher. Thank you.